we're building right now, the 30 by 70, it has supports, it has a beam to off of it, and we're gonna be talking a lot of details about this project. This building is actually rated for 155 miles per hour. I have some cedar posts, and this is where the restroom is gonna be, the kitchen, the living room. This is Advil from Wolf Steel Buildings. We're out here in Houston, a little bit south of Houston in Santa Fe, Texas. We're building this 30 by 70 barn dominion. Okay, so well, this is the metal building. We don't do the finishing of the inside, but we do do the buildings and your concrete slab. So we're building right now the 30 by 70. It has a porch. It has a kind of like a, like a lean to off of it. And we're gonna be talking a lot of details about this project. So stay tuned. I did want to mention some things here. So we're in Santa Fe, really close to the Gulf of Mexico where we get high winds. So this building is actually rated for 155 miles per hour. So if you're in the Houston area and that coastal area, Galveston, Corpus Christi, your buildings have to be rated a little bit higher because of the high winds that we get in this area. So this building is rated for that. Another thing that's super important to consider is for the tubular buildings that use this type of framing, most of these buildings are engineered not for living, but they're engineered for storage use, something where there's not residential. So this building is engineered for living. And so stay tuned. We're gonna be talking a lot of details about this project and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get this going. So guys, as I mentioned, this building is uh, engineered, so it comes with the plans. So you can see here, we are following the plans for this project. But instead of talking from the plans, I'm gonna talk to you live about this project. So we're gonna be coming back. So stay tuned, because we're gonna be coming back and we're gonna be talking about it, the exterior of the building. It does come with 26 gauge panels, uh, PBR panels, which is not the standard panels offered for these buildings, but we can get them for you at an upgrade. There's a lot of little details. So here you can see we got double welded legs. This really helps for the wind and that's, that's what really helps for the 155 miles per hour. And then we got the 12 gauge framing. Standard when you get a quote from a tubular building is 14 gauge framing, which is our lighter gauge. You can get 12 gauge for an additional cost. Typically the 14 gauge comes with a five year warranty of rust through a framing. 12 gauge comes with a 20 year. So it is something to consider. I think sometimes the upcharge is around like say $500 to $2,000 in on average for most buildings up to like a 30 wide. So it's worth considering since it gives you more warranty. You can see here, we're already anchoring specifically on every leg making sure that we anchor it right. And then where you see the holes, we're still gonna anchor there. So it's gonna have three anchors per leg. You can see the welded up on the trussing. The spacing is about 36 inches. So it's got a lot of, a lot of trusses. It's very well reinforced. Again, this is built for 155 miles per hour. I wanna talk about the concrete. So our building is, at definitely square and that that concrete is super square we got that lip here so all the panel will overlap that way there's no water coming in in your bedroom because this is the living home you can see the tube sticking out that is because of the trim so the overhang coming out about six inches 
So right here, I'm gonna show you guys. We're gonna have some cedar posts. This is gonna be the entrance, okay? So this is where the entrance is. There's gonna be a window here and then a door on that space there. But you're gonna have, you're gonna see some cedar, cedar posts. And then over here is a little porch area, kind of just to kind of relax, have a cookout in the back. That's really what this is gonna be. So there won't be any, uh, the base rail that, the base that comes out is, is we're gonna be creating a header. So it just has a, an opening. And you can see there's a lip here. That way the panel sits there and then there's no water coming in through there. There will be a door here, the entrance. This is where the restroom is gonna be. Over there is gonna be the kitchen and, and the living room. It's gonna have it fully exposed for the living room. And then here's a master bedroom. I believe over there is also gonna be two other rooms. We will be on the other coming back to see when the customer has fully finished the building. I think they're gonna be running some spray foam. So we still gotta run all the purling. So we're gonna be running uh, girts or, or tubing all the way across and then all the way on the roof. We still got a, quite a bit of work. This started yesterday, kind of midday. And uh, we're going on the second day. Today's Friday. We should be finished by Monday. So it's about a four-day project. Could go to five days. It's looking like it's raining. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on the framing, on the, on the process of this construction site, make sure to let me know. And uh, I can definitely try to help you guys out. Stay tuned for the next video because the next video, we're going to be looking into the finished project, obviously but also I might show the architectural plans, kind of show you guys where the rooms are gonna be. Just to give you guys an idea how our client is building a home out of here. So it's super exciting. And then uh, see you guys next video.